Alright, in this video we'll be doing the iodine clock reaction, a chemical reaction that has a delay until you actually see anything happening. Uh, for this homemade version of it, you'll need starch, I use cornstarch here, but any starch should work, vitamin C tablets, iodine, and good all 3% hydrogen peroxide. With the vitamin C tablet, you'll try to avoid the chewable or gummy kinds, those contain a lot of extra fluff, uh, although this one contains rose hips for some reason. And those rose hips do not lie. Crush up the oops, vitamin C tablet and dissolve that in half a cup of water. This will make your first solution. We'll call it solution A. Next, add one tablespoon iodine, but be careful, it stains. Iodine can be found in the first aid section of most big stores and is brown to begin with, but what? Where'd the color go? Oh, righto. Vitamin C splits iodine molecules into colorless ions, making it clear. I use 1% iodine here. You only need half a tablespoon if you have 2% iodine. Mix those together and you've got solution A. For solution B, add one half cup of water, three tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide, and a scoop of starch. You'll see it doesn't fully dissolve, and that's not because I'm lousy at stirring. It, it'll never fully dissolve, so don't worry about it. Now you're ready to mix the two together, I decided to mix by pouring them back and forth like so to, for a dramatic effect. Uh, and after about a minute or so of this, I'll speed this up. Ooh, look at that. And that's how you make root beer, folks. Nope. The color change happens when three iodide ions combine together with a starch molecule to make this dark bluish green color. You can also do this with orange juice because orange juice has vitamin C. Follow the same steps except instead of dissolving the vitamin C tablet in half a cup of water, just use half a cup of OJ. Mix solutions A and B together and you get your clock reaction. This one happened a lot quicker but the color change itself was slower and less impressive. No offense to OJ. Try it out yourself and see what other juices high in vitamin C do the same reaction. And tune in next time for more Invisible Science.